So the weight is over, Llama 3.2 is here and it is multimodal. This is a new model, a family of new vision language models from Meta, which is a Llama series. So they've got the latest version 3.2. There are two models that are the language model, just the pure large language model. And then there are a couple of models that are vision language model. So with this particular release, open, open, I don't know why open. With this particular release, Mark Zuckerberg, our Llama team has made sure that you can run this model on device. The, they have managed to give you the version that can run on Qualcomm, that can run on ARM based devices, that can run on MediaTek and they've also released a template with which you can create a Swift application. So let's start with what is the announcement today. The new model Llama 3.2 has been released today on the Meta Connect event. There are a bunch of interesting announcements, but if you were to take away a couple of interesting things, the main thing is they have released a small and medium sized vision language model, which means you can upload a picture to the model and then ask question and it will give you answer back. So it's a combination of images and also text. So it is not a diffusion model where you can generate images. It's a vision language model which can understand images. So there are two sizes, 11, b 11 billion parameter and 90 billion parameter. And also they've managed to release only uh, text models that are lightweight models, 1 billion parameter model and 3 billion parameter model with particular focus on edge devices and mobile devices. And they've released both pre-trained and instruction fine-tuned models. And these models can support 128,000 tokens. So it'll be f pretty interesting because usually when open models come with 128,000 context window, it's very hard for you to run on consumer hardware. But now that given we have a 1 billion parameter model and 3 billion parameter model with 128,000 context window, be pretty interesting to see if we can run this on device with the fullest context window. And these models are enabled from day one to run on Qualcomm MediaTek hardware optimized for ARM process processors and they've got a bunch of other announcements. One very important announcement that you should be paying attention to is the vision language models. These new vision language models, the 90 billion parameter model beats Claude 3 Haiku on a lot of different tasks and also beats a GPT 4O mini on a lot of different tasks. As you can see here on multimodality, if you see Llama 3.2 90 billion parameter model, scores 60.3 on MMMU. So this is the multi uh, MMLU version for the multimodality MMLU instead of the language you've got the um, M multimodality. So GPT 40 mini scored 59.4. And I'm not going to compare it with Claude three Haiku this one, but at least um, if you see this with GPT 40 mini, this is 60. On MMMU Pro, this is 45. This is 42 on Math Vista. I think um, this is the benchmark that we even saw a couple of days back where Gemini is like around 68. Now this is around 57 and uh, GPT-40 mini is 56. So on a lot of these benchmarks, uh, chart understanding, images understanding, um, understanding of, uh, you know, different objects within the images and all these things, Llama 3.2 90 billion parameter model seem to be a good one. But what is very surprising for me is that you, it takes a 90 billion parameter model to beat a GPT-40 mini. So I'm not sure how much would it take uh, for you to beat something like, uh, let's say, uh, GPT-40. Uh, we already know that 4, 405 from Llama was a model like that. But in this case, they did not release a 405 or a three digit billion parameter model. They stuck with uh, the two digit billion parameter model. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly okay with that. Like I'm not going to run three digit model locally on devices, but it's a very interesting choice to see. This is the multimodality part. And if you see the normal model that they released, the text based models, they've released uh, two models, 1 billion parameter and 3 billion parameter. The 1 billion parameter is almost like on par um, on certain benchmarks with Gemma 2, 2 billion parameter model, which is a model that a lot of people have been using to train small niche domain specific models. Like if you were to fine tune and you want to go with a smaller model, Gemma has been a huge hit. And now we have got a Llama 3.2 1 billion parameter model and Llama 3.2 3 billion parameter model. The benchmarks are as usual, like a new model is always better than the old existing models. That's quite fascinating to see. Now, um, Meta also has got a couple of demos, but very interestingly, if you were to see, uh, they have taken the three, 1 billion parameter model and 3 billion parameter model. It's not a newly trained model. It's rather a pure pruned model. They've taken a large model, the bigger model that they've got. 
and from that they've pruned it like they've taken it and distilled it and then created the 1 billion and 3 billion parameter model so technically based on this approach this model should be i guess uh, much better than you training a 1 billion parameter and 3 billion parameter model from scratch that's an interesting thing there are a bunch of interesting demos that meta has given you so how can you use them as a writing assistant how can you use them to understand images understand charts zero shot and all these things are interesting one thing it seems like meta is pushing very hard is what they call as a meta a llama stack so they want you to build everything using llama and uh, there there is another emphasis on llama stack if you see here llama stack distributions so you have got like the entire llama stack at the base you've got hardware data models then you have got the model tool chain api so batch inference real time inference pre training continued pre training uh, fine tuning sft and all those then you have got the agentic system api where you have got a prompt store a, uh, assistant shields that they have already got memory orchestrator and then you have got the end user applications the top application layer with the agentic apps their objective is to enable you for everything so they have uh, introduced a new llama cli they have given you client code in multiple languages like python node kotlin swift and they have given you the docker containers for llama stack distribution server and agents api provider so if you were to build llama based agents they want to enable you with everything and there are like multiple distributions like one is like supported by dell there is like something supported by pytorch all the api service providers like aws databricks fireworks together everybody is letting you build uh, llama stack distributions on uh, the cloud and there are a bunch of other information on the safety the models are already up on hugging face so you can go to hugging face there is a family of models llama 3.2 and the models are also being released uh, hugging faces team just the quants team also released the gguf model so if you were to use it on local device either using llama cpp o llama jan.ai lm studio that is your opportunity to already try it out but if you were to go and use uh, the 3.2 model officially from the llama then you have to fill in this form so you have to go here so i'll just quickly show you go to any of the vision language model i'll uh, link one in the description so there'll be a form here and you have to fill in your details sometimes this is quite late um, um, i hope somebody will download it and upload it in a different uh, organization id but you can go download the model usually these models are not transformer compatible models typically that has been the case i'm not sure about in this particular case uh, usually hugging face team downloads it uploads a transformer compatible model somewhere so i'm not sure in this particular case let's wait and see but while you are waiting go here fill in the form so you might get a uh, approval faster there are some interesting information about this the vision models also come with 128000 context window and uh, they have given you um, you know uh, the cut off knowledge cut off which is december 2023 that's another interesting aspect um, it is multilingual so for text only tasks they support english german french italian portuguese hindi spanish thai are officially supported but uh, the, according to them uh, it, they are trained on mul multiple more languages that means by fine tuning you should be able to unlock the power of those languages but for image and text so if you are going to use the vision language capability then english is the only supported that means you upload a picture and then it's mostly going to give you something response back in 3.2 it comes with the same license um, yeah it's it's not purely open permissive license um, so i would like to call it an open model rather than open source model so it's an open weight model but i think uh, unless until you are like super famous with uh, 700 uh, i think what 700 million um, monthly active users something like that you shouldn't be bothered about it we are not anywhere big, uh, bigger like that i think if you were to build something with this i would say you should uh, try to build um, some uh, some on device understanding like a meal planning app a chart understanding take a screenshot send it to it and then ask questions there are a lot of interesting use cases if you go here to the llama repo so you will see a lot of examples here um, i can probably take you through some of the examples so i'll link this in the youtube description they've got a bunch of things one thing that i found interesting is the ios app uh, for a calendar assistant so the entire code is available so if you are used to using xcode and swift you can straight away start with that there is an interior design assistant that is also available it's not like this is the first time we are getting open vision models but usually whenever llama releases something so of high quality it is going to drive a crazy level of fine tuning on the um, industry so it's uh, it's going to push everybody forward but otherwise um, it's an interesting day interesting time to be 
and imagine like you have got a glass and there is a large language model with vision language model running locally without any internet that'll be crazy there are a bunch of other crazy demos that uh, mark zuckerberg showed like in fact he literally took the phone uh, spoke to a guy uh, through his deep fake and the guy is literally standing next to him ability and resilience in our rapidly evolving digital world you know i saw a video of the epic outdoor standing desk that you wrote the the book at uh, is is being in nature and in standing desk important for your creative process being in nature and using a standing desk is crucial for my creative process it helps me think more clearly and come up with my best ideas i'm way more creative and focused when i'm outdoors all right i'm going to try to stump you with this one do you have any tips on cattle ranching <laughs> i don't have any tips on cattle ranching my expertise lies in technology and design not agriculture <laughs> Let me know what you think about. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.